Wow, my mission to find as many amazing waterfront RV camping spots in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan has far exceeded my expectations. And my hunt for more waterfront camping gems continues. My husband Tom and I, we just left the Applefoot City Campground and that was a real treat. So we're headed just 10 minutes down the road to the next camping spot I wanna check out and that's the Hog Island State Forest Campground. But here's the thing, I haven't made any reservations. So when I pull into a campground, I have no idea if there's going to be any desirable waterfront campsites available. And so far, all of the waterfront campsites look like they're taken. Oh, campsite number eight's available. What's it like out there? Oh, you do have to go through a little bit of a jungle to get to the water out there. Okay, campsite number 15 is also available. Oh, someone left some beer. Oh, no, someone left some charcoal. Let's go see what the waterfront looks like. No oh, dang. Oh, this is cool. Wow, what a beautiful view of Lake Michigan. Yeah, that view was gorgeous, but accessing the water was going to be difficult, and I like to get my feet wet and spend time in the water. So we're going to take a really big gamble, and we're going to travel almost two and a half hours away to a campground we happened to stumble upon last year on our way home from the UP. And so I know that this campground has first come, first served Lake Michigan gorgeous waterfront campsites. But I'd be lying if I didn't tell you I'm a little nervous because today is the 4th of July. So what are the odds I'm going to find an available waterfront campsite? Woohoo! There is an available campsite. Let's see what else might be available. Oh my gosh, there's two more waterfront campsites available. I'm loving these new curved levelers. They're so much easier than the wood blocks we were using before. Oh man, I'm feeling so extremely blessed and a lot lucky. This is so gorgeous. And there's our campsite, right there. I wonder how far I can walk out here. I'm spotting a few of these little dead fish out here. I'm getting quite a ways out here. Oh look, the water over there is getting darker. That means that water over there is gonna be deeper. There's more of those fish. What happened to you guys? Eating herring, it always reminds me of Christmas because we always had herring at Christmas. OMG, this is so good. Mm. Mm. I've enjoyed this day so much, but now it's time to get down to business. What? You've got Racco again? Okay, I have to win this one. Tom's won two, and we're playing three out of five. Oh my gosh, I have Recco. That's my Recco. Recco. What are you doing? Hello, Tom. I'm going to win this. Recco. Stop it. Hi there, Pinsy. Ha <laughs> ha!
We're off to find our next waterfront campsite. And big spoiler alert, there's absolutely no way I could ever have predicted what was gonna happen next. Things quickly went from fabulous to a big challenge we weren't prepared for. Click on this video now to see what I mean.